I had some free time this morning, as I guess you kind of always do when you wake up at dumb o'clock in the morning. So I thought I'd ride the tube a little longer than normal. I came to Warwick Avenue to see Little Venice. Honestly though, it is, it is pretty little. I've been to Venice, I've been to Birmingham, which is sort of like Venice. Honto ni chisai da ne. Demo, kono pub no namai wa. The Warwick Castle. I feel so at home. Still don't understand why they don't have aircon. Welcome to official day two. We've kind of split it up into how this will affect the government, uh, private companies, and the actual workers themselves, as well as Japanese society. Uh, we are going to um, go to the uh, Japanese embassy in London. Once again, lunch in the park. This time, pizza. Japanese embassy now, and we're here to collect it. Lighting. Better. So, as you probably gathered from that, I couldn't film at the embassy. I don't know why I, I didn't think of that, because I couldn't shoot at the UN when I was there before, and I, normally, for diplomatic purposes, you can't. Um, and so, this is all one video. Um, so follow me as I go around and I shoot the more interesting parts of London. Um, I guess this is going to be a little pretty montage for the long video that I'm shooting to promote this whole conference. The roads around Abbey Road are almost kind of better because they're so stereotypically British and that's what I'm looking for, for this like cultural exchange moment, I guess, I'm trying to have. I mean, look at this. We've got the trees, we've got the brick buildings, there's an Aston Martin, there's a bloody Mini. One thing that I must point out about this crossing is that in the UK, these stripes, these zebra crossings, mean that pedestrians have complete right of way. The cars can't go when the people are going. But lots of these tourists don't actually know that, so they'll kind of tentatively go across the road and, and signal for cars to go. It's a £1,000 fine if a car goes while a pedestrian is on there. So it's always a bit of a mess, and most cars turn that way rather than going down the road. So we've come to Westfield, London, one of the areas in London with the highest migrant population. And we are here to carry out some field work and ask, talk to people about uh, how many languages they speak and their stance on Brexit to test out our hypothesis. Because um, we're going to be splitting up, so we need to make sure we have the questions that are able to write it down. Excuse me, um, I'm doing a survey right now. Um, can you give me 30 seconds of your time, please? Yeah, why not? Um, I just have four questions for you. Yeah. Um, how, how old are you? How old are you, sorry? I'm 20. You're 20, cool. Um, how many languages can you speak? Uh, one and a half. One and a half, what's the one in? Um, English and English. a bit of Japanese. Okay, cool. Oh, Japanese. Um, are you a UK resident? Yes. Okay, um, cool. And would you say for Brexit, you would say leave, remain or neutral? Certainly remain. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you. And that's what they're asking. And now we've come to Kensington, which is an area with a comparatively much lower migrant population. So that was the end of yesterday's events. Uh, they collected all their data, they brought it back here to Daiwa and compared. Um, they actually met a really interesting person who I wasn't able to film. Uh, she was Romanian um, and she was in the UK working. She said since Brexit she struggled to get jobs and that she felt like the tide was already turning. Um, but she discussed the idea of Latin being kind of like English today. So. Um, English is like the universal language which is spoken throughout Europe in a way um, and she said that she really valued her time in the UK and her knowledge of English but she felt like she had to leave which is such a shame. Anyway, we got Vietnamese food afterwards which was really good. Then I had to pop back to Wagon and now I'm back here for... Today is tomorrow. Wait, that's confusing. Never mind. See you today. Wait, wait.